Chapter 3 Research Design and Methodology The purpose of this qualitative study was to understand the experiences of an art teacher implementing art education with creative learning principles to cultivate students' creative self-efficacy and average thinking at one middle school in the Inland Empire in Southern California. The importance of the study was to identify if educators can use our education with creative learning principles as a solution for students to cultivate self-efficacy and divergent thinking. Cultivating student self-efficacy and divergent thinking has the potential to make students in low socioeconomic communities more critically conscious to lead to more opportunities to learn without the consequences of high-stakes testing through rhizomatic learning. As students become more critically conscious, students will become more aware of the educational inequities and overcome academic challenges by receiving art education with creative learning principles. Chapter 3 will discuss the methodology used in this qualitative study. The qualitative study examines the experiences of an art teacher's observations of students who have had art education with creative learning principles and students who have not had art as part of their general education. The study design is then discussed followed by description of the setting and autoethnography. Chapter 3 will also present the data collection process for the study. The data collection for the qualitative part of the design will examine personal experiences of working in our education that uses creative learning principles. The qualitative study design uses experiences during observations, field notes, and memos to collect data as evidence of self-efficacy and average thinking both before and after the students receive our education that includes creative learning principles. Research questions. The research questions guiding the study will be, what teaching experiences and observations do I, as an art teacher, have in cultivating student self-efficacy when incorporating art education with creative learning principles? What teaching experiences and observations do I, as an art teacher, have in cultivating students' divergent thinking when incorporating art education with creative learning principles? Research design. The methodology implemented was an autoethnography comprised of using personal experiences and observations of the researcher to formulate a perspective from an educator that incorporates creative learning principles with art education. Ellis described autoethnography as an overlap between art and science. It is part auto or self and part etho or culture. Although autoethnographies do receive criticism and are perceived as self-indulgent and narcissistic. Qualitative data was collected of different occurrences of student self-efficacy and divergent thinking. Qualitative data was collected by the researcher at the beginning of the study as art education without creative learning principles was introduced. The researcher then collected qualitative data after introducing art education with creative learning principles. Art education that includes creative learning principles incorporates high levels of Bloom's taxonomy and Webb's depth of knowledge. High levels of learning require that students design, create, and critique new work of their own and pre-existing historical artwork. The qualitative research examined the experiences of the researcher with students that had art education that included creative learning principles and how the art course affected students' self-efficacy and divergent thinking. The qualitative data gathered from the researcher described interactions with students that have had art as part of their middle school general education and interactions with students that did not have art as part of their middle school general education. The researcher collected qualitative data by comparing field notes of how students describe the impact of art education on creative self-efficacy and divergent thinking. Several forms of the methodology were used by the researcher to strengthen and support the study. Pre- and post-observations determine what factors have cultivated the experiences that students had with self-efficacy and divergent thinking. The personal experiences allow thick descriptions to be developed and gain a perspective of how the students perceive their self-efficacy and divergent thinking. The personal experiences of the autoethnography enable the researcher the opportunity to elaborate through the perspective of the educator. The autoethnography allowed for the researcher to code for themes and identify patterns of student self-efficacy and divergent thinking that from the student's perspective might not have been able to contextualize or put into their own words. Research Setting The research setting was at a lower socioeconomic public school in the Inland Empire, located in Southern California. The research setting is both urban and diverse. According to the California Department of Education, 25% of the families in the research setting live in poverty. Based on the same data, 84% of the students in the district are eligible to receive free or reduced price school meals. Over 87% of the students identify as Hispanic slash Latino. 
A large portion of the students are English learners, with almost 33% of the population. Nearly 60% of the students are first-generation students to the United States. The overall population of the site is approximately 1,250 students. Students in the research setting receive a general education based on the CCSS. The art class available at the school site is optional and available at the request of the administration. The administration decides whether an art class exists at the school site or not. Out of the seven middle schools in the district, only four have an art class. In the first semester of the 2016 to 2017 school year, two different art teachers taught the class. Each teacher taught for approximately one quarter of the first semester. Our class focused mainly on basics, fundamentals, tools, and techniques. Students were required to follow along while the teacher was demonstrating the lessons. It was expected of the students to do the same assignment and activities while the teacher was instructing. For example, the teacher would show the students how to draw a flower, and the students will follow along with how to draw that same flower. In the second semester of 2016 to 2017, short-term and long-term substitutes taught the class. During this time, students watched entertainment movies or made crafts. For example, the students would make crafts that used confetti, glitter, or slime. Beginning in the fall 2017, I started teaching the art class at the site using the curriculum that I developed and that I intend to use as part of the study. Participant Selection I served as the art teacher used for this autoethnographic study. I have accumulated years of experience as an art teacher and a graphic design artist. My experience as an art teacher will give me a personal account of my interactions with my students as they cultivate or struggle to cultivate self-efficacy and divergent thinking. As a participant, I would describe my personal journey of working with students and different instances of how students perform during art education with creative learning principles. The students that I observed will be middle school students enrolled in the art class and middle school students that do not have art education as part of the middle school general education. Students that did not have art education as part of their general education were students enrolled in other electives. The number of students that were observed were six students. The age of the students varied from 11 to 14 years old. Class sizes ranged from 30 students to 40 students per period for four separate periods. I observed three students enrolled in art, and the other three students were enrolled in other electives. Three students from each group were observed to allow for a meaning comparison range between students who struggled to cultivate self-efficacy and divergent thinking, and students that fostered self-efficacy and divergent thinking. Since art is considered an elective by the school site and district, there is no cap for the number of students that can be added by administrators to each class period. Students can be placed or removed throughout the study for numerous reasons. For this reason, students that have been in our class for the majority of the study's time frame had their data analyzed. Other students that were not in the observed elective for the majority of the study did not have their data analyzed. The students enrolled in our class have not been selected specifically for this study. The students for the study will not be required to have prior knowledge or experience with art, as art is not a required core content class. The students for the study were not required to fill out an application, go through an interview, or submit a grade check. Students for all other electives are required to meet those expectations to be enrolled. The art class is inclusive and can consist of reclassified English learners, special needs, behavior issue students, or students that have requested to be in the art class. Students can also be placed in the art class at the request of the administration. Students and other elective courses have gone through the selection process, which includes an application into the desired elective, letters of recommendation, grade check, behavior check, and interview conducted by the teachers who instruct the elective. Time frame. The time frame of the study was one week, and students will be starting their fourth quarter. The research lasted for one week due to students' school schedules changing for three weeks for standardized testing. Students also rotate from one elective to another periodically due to low academic achievement in the students' core classes. For example, if a student was struggling academically in a core class, the student will be placed in an intervention core class to support the student academically. The administration also has the authority to rotate the students every semester for several reasons, including to help keep students engaged interested, and to get students exposed to as many different electives as possible. The semester rotation mainly occurs for students that are in the 6th and 7th grades. A small percentage of 8th graders are enrolled in our class for a whole year by the student's counselor, 
administrator, or request of the student's parents. A large portion of 8th grade students that are enrolled in the first semester of art can be enrolled in intervention math or English classes for extra assistance in the second semester. At the beginning of the second semester, several students re-enroll in their school that is closer to their home but still within the district. During the second semester, several students move to another city, state, or country.